Hello everybody, this is me back uh, with uh, what am I drinking today? Today is special because I drank this beer before and I uh, brought it back just because it is a special beer um, that I want to taste again with you guys, show uh, you a little bit about it and uh, see what, uh, how much you like it and how much I like it personally too. So today is Time Warp, which is this beer right here. Um, it is from Townside Brewing, uh, which is from uh, BC. Uh, didn't check quite where they were situated, but they do have a great website that I recommend you go and check out uh, if you like beer and see what's up with all the beers in general, uh, especially for this brewery. You can see it foaming on the top already here. It's kind of nice. Uh, it is a wet hop beer. So what wet hop means is usually hops, um, they get ruined pretty fast. They lose their oil and whatnot. Um, so what normally people do is when they collect their hops, uh, little flower thing there. They dry them out right away to be able to create the beer. Uh, this one is um, I don't know some kind of people decided that instead of uh, doing their beer later on They decided to do their beer right away with the hop Freshly collected. So that's why they call it wet up uh, It does create quite a different experience when you um, make your beer with this and um, I'll let you judge by yourself, but uh, for now, let's pour the beer and see what it does. I'm assuming it's gonna have a big head already, you can tell with the foam on top. It is not too aggressive. Uh, I was expecting a little bit more, but look at this beautiful color, beautiful uh, head on the beer. Um, if you have seen a few of my videos previously, you know that I like my heads on my beer uh, because they just conserve the beer uh, and allow the aromas and whatnot and all the fun stuff I explained before. Um, now as far as color goes for this beer, uh, it has a nice little slightly orangey tinge to it. Um, not quite like the pumpkin beer that I tried before, um, but it is very very nice. I'd like to describe it more as an apricot color. Um, nice little orange with tinge of a reddish that period that peeks through. Uh, it is a very nice looking beer, more on the what you expect when you think of pale ale, amber ale, uh, almost a mix of both. Uh, on the nose, what do we find here? Those, um, you know, beer usually goes from grapefruit to uh, fruit salad or something along those lines. This one seems to be somewhere in between. Uh, the IBU level, strangely enough, it is not that high. It is 35 uh, point on the IBU scale, um, which is kind of like fruity for a hoppy beer. Um, kind of strange if you ask me, but again, can't judge too fast until you put it in your mouth, eh? Oh, I like the smells. There's a few other things that come out through like the uh, the hops have a tendency to create a little bit like that I like to describe it almost like a mushroom smell uh, it does peaks out a little bit through this but it's very very it is very mild uh, not quite uh, what you expect when you, uh, you you drink some other of the wet hop hail I've tried some that literally tastes like mushroom not in this one all right let's give it a, a try This beer is phenomenal. Um, if you're afraid of up, don't be afraid of this one. Up is something I'm pretty sure builds over time that you like more and more over time. Uh, a bit like a blue cheese, you usually don't try blue cheese for the first time and enjoy it. This beer is, I feel, a good introduction to a uh, hop. As it is not too hoppy, you will taste it. But the first thing that comes to mind when I drink it is a little bit of that fruit salad, uh, as I was mentioning before. Um, tinge of ca tinge. I don't know why I use that word. Uh, little hints of caramel in there. Uh, let's see if I can point out anything. Yep, caramel. Those smooth pops. A little, quite a few, a, few, a bit of fruit. Uh, I recommend it, no matter what. Actually. Just uh, if you want to explore, it is a seasonal beer, so it's not going to last for very long. Maybe available just in Vancouver. Um, again, my little uh, local brewery, uh, brewery, my little local, local uh, liquor store has a lot of fun beer to try out. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can find some other information for you here. 
Oh no, see here it says IBU 60. Ah, there we go, that makes more sense. Uh, IBU on the website, for some reason, they were saying 35. Um, that's something that uh, Townside Brewing, if you see this video, you may want to correct. Uh, otherwise, 5.2% alcohol, not too strong, not too bad. Um, yeah, there's nothing else that I can uh, tell that comes from the bottle itself. Aside that it's kind of like a cool logo and it looks like a friend of mine. Uh, yeah, I, I do have some uh, fun looking friends like this. Uh, otherwise, you guys, thank you for joining me again. And uh, if you like, subscribe, follow on YouTube, and I will uh, keep making those videos coming. Cheers, you take care.